Welcome back to the final part of lesson six. Uh, we're going to show you how to create a simple shadow. And using my, my I'm going to deviate from the book just a little bit because the way I'm going to show it to you is you'll be able to create shadows in different ways. And I'll have a special segment just on shadows. So right now we have our subject. Uh, we tilted her head, we changed her glasses. Now all we have to do is create a simple shadow. I am not following the book exactly like they tell you to do it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and select pixels. With the pixel selected, I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. And this layer is going to be our shadow layer. I, I, I double click instead of single click. I'm going to rename the layer. Uh, give, give me one second. Let me find where it says rename layer. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Uh, delete layer, group layer, blend layer. Uh, I should be having somewhere here to rename a layer. There we go, layer. And this particular layer we're going to call shadow. Oh, would have been nice if we would have been capitalized. But notice we already have a selection, right? We already have a selection. All we have to do is go edit, fill, and use black to fill this particular selection. Hey, that looks like a shadow. Go ahead and reduce the opacity to your desired level. Bring the actress back on stage. Now with the shadow layer selected, go edit free transform. The reason I like tree transform is because it's easy to transform this particular shadow. Uh, the book is going to tell you to go and punch in some numbers and do some conversions. I'm just going to use the control key and I'm going to drag one of the points out, holding down the control key. Then I'm going to drag another point out, drag this down, up, left, right. Notice I can just create a shadow at, as I want. And there is our actress with a shadow. Look at that. I can resize it, make it taller, make it shorter, much more convenient than what was introduced to us by the book. I'm holding down the left control key with my left hand and I'm dragging the mouse, left mouse with the, all of these different points. See, I even can skew the shadow. See that? Look at that. Look at that shadow being skewed. There is my shadow. When I'm happy with the shadow, I commit it, bring in my, my, my background, deselect, and there is my shadow. It's too much, right? I can modify it, select pixels, click on the shadow, right click, select pixels, edit, free transform, Let me modify that a little bit. There we go. How about that? Is that better? That's better. And there's my shadow. Control D to deselect. And there's the shadow that we created. Now, creating shadows is much easier task than what the book has you believe. And you don't have to use the select and mask option to create them. And I will show that in a separate video. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you soon.